in the New Testament scripture in the book titled The Acts of the Apostles. It is written that the Holy Spirit on Pentecost, 50 days after Jesus had risen from the dead, descended upon the eleven disciples and Mary in an upper room somewhere in Jerusalem. They were hiding from the very same authorities who had put their friend, Jesus, to death. That upper room is also where they had celebrated Jesus' Last Supper, a meal so significant that the disciples looked back on Jesus' promise that his body and blood would be true food for them if they just believed. Huddled in fear in the upper room, though they had witnessed the resurrection of Jesus and seen him alive, the disciples and Mary were unsure about how to live what they had seen and known in Jesus. The Holy Spirit, the very reason we celebrate today, showed them how they could move forward and walk into the world with truth. It is written that the very first act of the apostles having been filled with the Holy Spirit at Pentecost and having recalled the powerful invitation to Jesus' table of the kingdom for all people, was to go out into Jerusalem and share with the diverse multitudes from every corner of the empire that Jesus Christ was the Savior of all humanity. They are said to have spoken in so many different languages and to so many diverse people of many cultures that we can get an image today if we just use our imagination of who is sitting at the table Jesus has prepared. We all are at Brophy sitting there today. Yet in this country and around the world, the evil of racism and discrimination make it seem like some, especially people of color, are not welcome at this table. That is completely false. And the Holy Spirit calling the disciples and Mary to all people and corners of the earth should be proof enough that racism is against God and God's hope for the world. We receive the Holy Spirit today and we gather at a table of Jesus that welcomes every race. But is it true that we are this welcoming to all in our everyday lives? Is it true that we go forth like disciples to change the world's racism and speak truth against it? Today, as an extended examine around the table of Jesus, let us embrace the truth that racism is completely contrary to the Eucharist, the body of Christ. We are one body in Christ. Therefore, no inequality nor racial injustice should exist. Today we pray for the grace of awareness. And with our imagination, we examine our lives. Think about your community. What are the demographics of the school you attend, your neighborhood, your church? What are the races represented in your workplace, where you live, and in your place of worship? When you see a person you don't know, what is the first thing you consciously notice about them? Is it their age, their appearance or body type, their race? Think about how friends broaden our perspectives. Consider how many of your close friends or your close colleagues are of a race other than your own. If the Spirit called you out to be in community with all races and cultures, what does the table of Jesus look like now?